Um, this is what we're going to work on, um, making sessions. So sessions would allow us to add a login in. So let's start with um, creating a sessions controller. So whenever we have to deal with a form, we usually need a, a controller for it. So we have a controller here. So this controller will have three methods in it, new, create, and destroy. All right, so command and P or control and P and type in roots. So this is just a, a quick way of um, opening your files. You can also go to config and click on roots there. But command P is good. All right, so this is what was um, auto-generated for us, um, but we want to tidy things up a bit. So we're going to say resources, sessions, only um, create for new, create and destroy. And we can go ahead and get rid of this auto-generated code for us. All right, so now we have our roots sorted. So let's go into sessions controller. So that's command P and then you can type. And in here, um, we can go into our app, our view for sessions and delete, uh, create, we don't need that. We delete, destroy, we don't need a view for that and double click on new. So this is our, our page for login and I can get rid of the paragraph. So let's see if that's actually worked. Um, change our moderators to sessions slash new. And there we have our login login page, so it worked. But when we go into our forward slash login, obviously that doesn't work because we have no roots for it. But that, that's very convenient. So I'm going to copy this and go into our roots folder and say when we get a get request, map it to um, here, admin, admin sessions, and then a method. So the method is new. So that's what we want to do. So if we come back here and reset the page, now it works. So we have a slash add login to, to route us to this page here. All right, so let's um, create our form. Now in this case, we're going to use form tag because we're not saving anything to the database. So we just need an ordinary form that will direct us to the sessions path, uh, the create method. So this is what it looks like. And in here, I'm going to simply have um, a label and a text field. And again, we could say label tag and username. So this name matches up with the database name. So I put a break here so we can start a new line. And here I'll say text field is tag. Okay, that, that's fine. All right, so if we copy this and we can use it for the password. So change this to, to password. All right, so we just need our submit. So if I say submit tag, the value will be login. So this is um, our basic form to route us to the create method of the session, sessions controller. So let's see what happens here. This is our form, so it all works. Okay, so this form doesn't work at the moment, but um, what we need to do is go into our sessions controller. I'm going to open up moderator controller. So moderators controller is here. So if we notice here, we, we have uh, in admin, we need to have um, create a new file uh, called application controller. Okay, so now if we just write in the class name, put in the admin namespace in there and end. What uh, we want is for um, our sessions uh, controller to extend our newly created application controller. And also we want our moderators controller to extend the admin applications controller. So from now on, every uh, controller will create an admin will extend this and then our admin uh, will extend this um, application controller here okay so this is a way of making sure that we are security uh, tight so in our application controller for the admin I'm going to create a method called current moderator for now it will be false we'll come back to this and then the second method 
would be the authorize method. So we'll say here, unless the current moderator is true, we want to redirect every uh, method call to the login. Okay, so if we don't have a current moderator, we redirect to the login page and we'll say, please log in to view admin pages. So we can end this and end this here. All right, so before every or any method is called um, in, in a controller, we can have access to it. So because we have all the methods extending our application controller, we have a method here that says before action. So before any action is called, we want you to first run the authorize. Okay, so this just checks that you are actually authorized, you've logged in. So let's give this a try. So if I go into admin moderators and refresh the screen, now it says uh, redirect loop. Now this is because we are stopping every single um, method. So we don't want to stop the new method. So that's the login form. And we don't want to, to stop the create method for signing in. So what we do, we say before action in sessions controller, we want to say still authorized, still call the authorized method. But except for when we have a new and a create method. Okay, so this will exempt uh, the new and create. So if we come back, new login works. And if we go to login moderators, and it redirects us back to login. And it says, please uh, log in to view admin pages. So we are confident that all the pages um, in the admin section is under authentication. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. We've done a few things here. We created um, an uh, application uh, controller for all our admin pages and we've added authentication. In the next lesson, we'll um, carry on working on, on the next steps. So I'll see you there.